Here's today's question. What's one of the best ways to install a floating shower bench? Today we're gonna to show you the Weedy Sanawasa floating bench. It's really cool, we just got it. This is not an installation video. We're gonna be installing it later on. This is a high level overview to show you what it is, how you can install it, and why it's so cool. All right, as you can see here, this is a standard shower bench. We showed you how to frame this out, and we're also gonna share with you how to waterproof this in a video. Now here's the deal. If you don't want a standard shower bench like this, you can install a floating one, but you need to have a few things in place. This is the Santa Wasa. Let's take a look inside. As you can see here, it's called the Weedy Santa Wasa Shower Bench 4. And the 4, because it's almost 4 feet long, so 47 and a quarter by 15 inches deep by 3 and 1 eighth inch thick. As you can see, this is a straight bench. It's self-supporting and it's for niche installation only. I'll show you what that means. So if you flip the box over, it actually has Ikea-like instructions on it. This shower bench can only be installed if you have two walls like this. So you have a wall on the left and a wall on the right. For example, if we take this off of here, you can see that our bench setup would not qualify for this particular model here. Now, if we wanted to, we could create a wall right here, a pony wall. So you would have a pony wall on this side of the bench and you'd have your main wall over here and you could create a floating bench in that situation. Like I said, we're not gonna show you how to install this today. We will do it in another video. You can cut this shower bench down to size, which is great. They're showing in this picture, which is picture number three, that you do need to have two walls to install it. It comes with these metal brackets, which I'll show you here in a second. You apply weedy joint seal into the bracket, you smooth that out, and then what you do is you adhere those brackets to each of each wall. So the wall on the left and the wall on the right. You screw those brackets through the weedy that's on the wall and into wood blocking that's in between your studs. The next step is to add joint sealant to the top of the bracket, add joint sealant to the back and side of the bench, and then place the bench on top of the brackets. They give you mesh inside this kit. You apply the mesh to everywhere where the bench meets your weedy backer board. Apply more joint sealant to the top of that mesh and smooth it out. And then that's it. You gotta wait 24 hours and you can tile the bench. As you saw, the installation is very straightforward. Now, let's take a look at the bench. The picture on the front of the box is a representation of what the bench could look like in a shower. As you can see, they tiled the entire bench here. All right, let's open up this box. Okay, so this is the bench itself. Pretty substantial. So the back of the bench, as you can see, has all foam, and you would apply the joint sealant to the, the entire back of this, and then to each side of the bench. And they clearly tell you that this is the top of the bench. So for example, this is the top of the bench, this is the front face, and if you wanted to, you could cut the bench to size so that it could fit in your niche area right here. These are the accessories that you get with the floating shower bench. You get a tube of weedy joint sealant. This is the mesh. It looks like fiberglass mesh. They give you screws for mounting the brackets to the wall. And these are the two brackets right here, one, two, and I think that they're made out of aluminum. So why would you want a floating bench instead of a traditional bench in a shower? These days a lot of people are installing linear drains. And one of the things that you could do, and this came up in a conversation I had on the phone with a customer, one of the things that you could do is you could install a floating bench on the far side of your shower and you could hide the linear drain underneath the floating bench. Instead of having a traditional drain like this one here, that linear drain could be in the far end of the shower and be totally hidden for the most part by a floating bench and that's pretty cool. So again, these brackets, they get mounted to the top of the weedy backer board and they get screwed into the studs or the wood blocking that's inside the wall. And then the bench would just sit on top of those brackets. So it'd be a floating, it wouldn't be this high obviously, but it'd be a floating bench that you could sit on. Well, what do you think? Would you rather have a floating shower bench or a traditional shower bench? Let us know down in the comments. And if you're interested in the Santa Wasa or any other weedy shower kit, you can always learn more about those over on bathroomrepairtutor.com. You can just go right there, check them out for yourself. If you need help choosing the right kit for your shower remodel, we can assist you with that too. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.